Hello everyone. I am very happy to welcome you all to Dr. JGS Virtual Academy of Commerce. In this video, I am going to take you through an exercise from ratio analysis. This exercise is an interesting exercise to be solved and moreover, it is very important from the examination point of view. Let us get into the problem. From the following information, prepare a balance sheet. Give your workings also. Working capital is equal to 75,000 rupees. Reserves and surplus is equal to 1 lakh. Bank overdraft 60,000 rupees. Current ratio 1.75 times. Liquid ratio on the basis of current liabilities is equal to 1.15. Normally, liquid ratio could be calculated with the formula of liquid assets divided by liquid liability. But here we are asked to consider current liabilities as a basis. Fine. Fixed assets to proprietary fund 0.75 times, long term liabilities nil. This is what you find in the problem. Now, as I have already explained in my previous videos related to ratio analysis, there is always a connection between working capital and current ratio. Because working capital is nothing but the excess of current assets over current liability. Current ratio is equal to current assets divided by current liabilities. Therefore, let us first make use of the two aspects, one working capital and two current ratio, so that we can calculate the value of current assets and value of current liabilities first. Then continue with our solution. Now, current ratio is equal to current assets divided by current liabilities is equal to 1.75 divided by 1. Now, what is working capital? Working capital is equal to current assets minus current liabilities. Now, connecting this ratio, we find current assets is given with the value of 1.75, perhaps a weight of 1.75, when current liability is given with a weight of 1. That's what the connection between current assets and current liabilities we understand through the current ratio. Therefore, what is the balancing figure? 0.75. 0.75 is the weight we have calculated for working capital. What is the meaning? When current asset is given with a weight of 1.75 and current liability is given with a weight of 1, the weight for working capital is nothing but 0.75. Therefore, if working capital with a weight of 0.75 is equal to 75,000 rupees, what is the value of current assets with the weight of 1.75? 75,000 divided by 0.75 into 1.75, it gives us a value of 1,75,000 rupees. That's the value of current assets. What about the value of current liabilities with the weight of 1? 75,000 divided by 0.75 into 1 is equal to 1 lakh rupees. And that is what the value of current liabilities. Now, since we are given with the information of bank overdraft amount at 60,000, let us calculate liquid liability here itself. What is the formula for calculating liquid liability? Current liability minus bank overdraft will give you liquid liability. So, current liability 1 lakh rupees minus bank overdraft given in the problem 60,000, therefore liquid liability is 40,000. In the normal situation, we make use of the formula of quick assets or liquid assets divided by quick liability or liquid liability with regard to the calculation of liquid ratio. But in this problem, since we have been directed to take current liability as a basis for liquid ratio, we go for writing the formula as like this. Liquid ratio is equal to liquid assets divided by current liability is equal to 1.15 divided by 1. If current liability 1 is equal to how much it is? 1 lakh rupees. 1 lakh divided by 1 into 1.15 is equal to 1 lakh 15,000 rupees. That's the value of a liquid assets. Now, what is the difference between current assets and liquid assets? If you subtract liquid assets from current assets, you will get the value of stock and prepaid expenses. In this juncture, since we do not know the details of prepaid expenses and stock, let us make one assumption to continue a solution that there is no prepaid expenditure in the problem. 
So the difference between current assets and liquid assets shall be equal to only closing stock. This is the assumption we are free to make in this junction. Now that's what I have done. So assumption there are no prepaid expenses. Now I continue. Hence closing stock is equal to current assets minus liquid assets. 175,000 minus 115,000 it gives us 60,000 rupees that's a value of closing stock which we need to record in the balance sheet. Now, what is that other one we have in the problem? We have not utilized only this particular ratio so far. What is that? Fixed assets to proprietary fund is equal to 0 0.75. In this stage, you have to recall the calculation of capital employed as per asset side approach and liability side approach. As per liability side approach, the capital employed is equal to shareholders fund plus long term liability. What about the asset side approach? Fixed assets plus working capital will give you the same amount of capital employed. In this problem, we were informed that there is no long term liability. Now let's form the equation as per asset side approach and liability side approach. Fixed assets plus working capital is equal to proprietary fund or shareholders funds plus long term liability. Long term liability nil. Proprietary fund we need to calculate. Working capital we know the amount. Fixed assets we do not know. Referring fixed assets to proprietary fund ratio what we can understand when fixed asset is given with a weight of 0 0.75 proprietary fund is given with the weight of corresponding weight of 1. That is what we are going to apply here. Fixed assets is equal to 0 0.75 plus working capital you bring it down as it is is equal to proprietary fund 1. Obviously long term liability is nil. Now let us simplify this equation. Therefore working capital is equal to 1 minus 0 0.75 is equal to 0 0.25. So what is the corresponding weight for working capital in this situation it is 0 0.25. Please understand the fact we have calculated this particular value with the support of the corresponding weights for proprietary fund and fixed assets. That's what. This is not going to hold good in all situations. In this situation, the weight for working capital is 0 0.25. It doesn't mean that the weight for working capital is always 0 0.25. It will vary according to the relationship between the variables we study. Fine. Now, if working capital 0 0.25 is equal to 75,000 rupees, fixed assets with the value of 0 0.75 is equal to 75,000 divided by 0 0.25 into 0 0.75 is equal to 225,000 rupees. That's the value of fixed assets. What about the value of proprietary fund with the rate of 1? It is equal to 75,000 divided by 0 0.25 into 1 is equal to 3 lakh rupees is the value of a proprietary fund. Obviously, we know proprietary fund includes capital and reserves and surplus. Let us assume there is no preference capital. Therefore, proprietary fund in this problem might include only equity capital and reserves and surplus. Fine. Proprietary fund is equal to 3 lakh. Reserves and surplus amounted 1 lakh rupees given in the problem. Therefore, what is the balancing figure in the proprietary fund? That's nothing but capital amounted 2 lakh rupees. Now we are ready for preparing the balance sheet. Now let's move. Balance sheet, liabilities and assets. As we have calculated, capital is amounted 2 lakh. Reserves and surplus is amounted 1 lakh rupees. Then long term liability, as they have stated in the problem, it is nil. Now bank overdraft, it is given in the problem, amounted 60,000 rupees. Then what about the other current liabilities? Other current liabilities are you can very well say liquid liability. Fine. We calculated the value of liquid liability amounted 60,000 and that is what we have written here. So the total of the balance sheet according to liability side comes to 4 lakh rupees. Let's move to the asset side. Fixed assets, we calculated it. It is amounted 2 lakh 25,000 rupees. Stock, we calculated the value of closing stock over here with the formula of current assets minus liquid assets. Yes, it gives us, see, 
current assets minus liquid assets it gives us a value of stock 60000 that's what written now the total of current assets is nothing but 175000 in that 175000 stock stands for a value of 60000 the remaining 115000 is the value of liquid assets that we already calculated see 115000 is the value of liquid assets or you can name it as other current assets so we have entered all the possible items that would appear in the balance sheet of this business enterprise. I hope you all have understood my lecture over the step-by-step -step procedure of calculating the values of different elements or items that will appear in the balance sheet of this particular business concern. Kindly watch this video for a few times to get clear understanding over this particular problem. This is an important problem from the examination point of view as well. Thanks for your time to watch my video. I'll meet you in another video. Bye for now everyone.